The regulations for uh, government testing of vehicles in the UK has changed recently, and this means that any car, or I suppose vehicles, I don't, I'm not sure, but anyway, any car that was manufactured before 1960 does not have to have an official government test, which we call an MOT, Ministry of Transport test. Uh, so this applies to my Dodge here, which is a 1947. But we still can have them tested, and I'm, and I'm going to have this tested. But this car, uh, which is being collected tomorrow to go for the test, hasn't been started for a few months again, it seems. And we've had some very cold weather, so I'm going to start it up and uh, sort of move it out a bit, get it warmed up so it'll hopefully be able to drive to the testing station tomorrow. So it's a 1947 Dodge straight six engine, six volt system. And to start the car here, for people that are not familiar with these cars, we turn the ignition on. That's the ignition key turned on. We pull the choke out and uh, we'll pump it a little bit and then we use the push button here to start the car. There we go. So it's firing away. I've pushed the choke back in totally. And uh, because I'm in an enclosed space, I'm going to try and move it out a bit. The exhaust fumes on this car can be quite lethal. Right. All right, so we've, we've actually put it into first gear. I, I put it into first gear. And we'll start moving. Now the car's got a hand throttle, uh, which is very useful in this case, so I've got the choke in and I'm going to rev it a little bit then pull the hand throttle out, right, and I'll put it back in a little bit, right, the car is um, revving over faster than idle um, because the hand throttle is, is raising the revs, we'll go out and have a look at it, first time it's been moved actually, for about four months. My dog's decided to get in on the action here. These old lights, of course, we've got a lot of condensation in them. Pity, really, but eventually that uh, causes rust. a lovely, lovely car.